Hey everybody, Darren Slaughter here at DarrenSlaughter.com bringing you a quick video marketing minute. Today I'm going to talk about how having a there's upside in a down market. And what I mean by that is for the last 10 years no other industry has been as impacted by the housing market as home services category. Am I right? Um, homeowners were basically using their their homes as ATM machines. Need a new roof? Take a home equity loan. Need a new, want to finish the basement? Take out a, a line of credit. Whatever they needed, whatever they wanted to do, they had the equity in their homes to do it. Um, which basically meant as a contractor, all you really had to do was kind of wait for the phone to ring um, and people brought projects to your door. You didn't have to necessarily do a lot of advertising. A lot of contractors came up and started businesses who didn't focus on advertising or marketing and don't really know how to do it today. Now, the upside to a down market is a lot of guys that were marginal players in your space got washed out. There were a lot of people that were in business that called themselves contractors that shouldn't have been in the business. And you know it and I know it. And they've all been flushed out of the system. Now, the only guys left standing are guys that have been able to weather the storm. But I talk to a lot of contractors still every week who tell me, you know what, it's still slow, but I don't have any new business coming in, but I'm not doing anything from a marketing standpoint. And I say, well, what do you have to from for an advertising budget? I don't. I don't have one. I haven't set one up. I don't. You know. I'm not spending anything on on marketing. I'm just kind of living off of referrals. Well, it's time to start allocating dollars back towards a marketing budget. You have to. If you want to be around a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, not having some skin in the game from a marketing standpoint um, is is being penny wise pound foolish. You're making your truck payments. You're making your insurance payments. You're paying. You're making all those payments to the things that aren't bringing you any business. Why aren't you spending any money in an area that can have a direct impact on your bottom line, and that is to bring new customers in? Part of those phone calls are, Darren, I need your help. I want you to do this, and we need to do that, and I have to do this, and we have to work on that. And I say, okay, but what's your budget for that? Nothing. You can do all the free stuff online that you want. You can do all of the handouts and the flyers and, and all that stuff that you want to do. But if you're not peeling 5, 7, 10% of your gross revenue right off the top and allocating it towards marketing, you're not going to get to the levels that you want to be. Now, the kicker to all that is when I ask, what's your capacity? Well, I could probably do double or triple the amount I'm doing now. And what's that relate to in, as far as dollars? Well, I can add another half a million or another million dollars on top line revenue. Okay, how much are you advertising? Nothing. You're not going to add a half a million dollars. You're not going to add a million dollars in top line revenue, not spending any money on advertising. or not taking the time in your business to work on advertising and marketing for yourself. So the point is, consider advertising another must-have function inside your organization in order to make sure that you're in existence a year from now. That's it. Have a good day.